In section 1.4.2, we'll be talking about the direction of the cross product. Um, let me take V and W to be in R3, then V cross W, we just said is perpendicular to both V and W. All right, so I'm going to prove just one of the two. The other one is very, very similar. So if I want to show that V is perpendicular to the cross product, then I'm going to take the dot product, and I want to prove that that will always be 0. All right, so we have components, so that I'm going to use them. So V1, V2, V3. And then we have our definition of um, the cross product right here, that's what I'll use in this one. So I have uh, V2W3 minus V3W2. I have V3W1 minus V1W3. And I have V1W2 minus V2W1. All right, so this is the dot product I want to take. Um, I'm going to have multiple terms. So let's write it here. I'm going to have V1 times V2W3 minus V3W2. I'm going to have V2 times, sorry, no dot product, V3W1 minus V1W3. And my last component is going to give me V3 times V1W2, V2W1. All right, let's expand this. V1, V2W3. Uh, that's this one, and then I need that one. That's going to give me minus V1, V3W2. Next term here, that will be V2, V3, W1, minus V2, V1, W3, plus, and then here I have these two terms, V3, V1, W2, minus V3, V2, W1. All right, V1, V2, W3, this term cancels with that one. V1, V3, W2, that one cancels with this. And finally, V2, V3, yeah, these cancel. Everything cancels and I get just zero. And so those two vectors are indeed perpendicular. Good. All right, let's do one example here. I have two vectors. I want to find all unit vectors perpendicular to both A and B. So let me draw A and B. Let's say they're here. I have A, I have B. Um, since they're in R3, I have one direction that's perpendicular to both. And I want all unit vectors, so I'm going to have one sticking up, and I'm going to have one sticking down. All right, so first step, I'm going to find a vector that's in the same direction as the green line. So I'm going to look at the cross product. So A cross B A cross B, that's 1, 2, 5 cross 3, 0, 1. I've computed ahead of time. We've done a few. I think that was enough. You'll do more in the exercise sheet to save a bit of your time. Let me just say that's 214 minus 6. If you feel like you need extra time, then pause the video and double check that you agree with me. So this vector is somewhere on the green line. Let's pretend like it's over here. All right, so we want a unit vector that's um, let me call this one u1, this one u2, just so it doesn't look strange that I'll do the downward one first. So if I want u1, that's a unit vector in the same direction
we have a recipe for this. That's 1 over length of A cross B, A cross B. And the length of A cross B is what? Let's do it as an aside. So 2 squared plus 14 squared plus minus 6 squared. I got root of 236. And so this will be 1 over root of 236 times 214 minus 6. That's a unit vector that's perpendicular to 1, 2, 5 and to 3, 0, 1. To get u2, I want to get the opposite direction, but the same length as u1, so minus u1. So it's minus 1 over root of 236, 214 minus 6. So I have these two vectors. They're both unit vectors, and they're both perpendicular to a and b.